Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 for God is not a God of disorder, but of peace, as in all the congregations of the Lord's people. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Proverbs 2 verse 6 for the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Ephesians 1 verse 18 I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. Proverbs 4 verse 7 the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9 to 10 However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him, these are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Psalm 19 verse 8 the precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Proverbs 3 verse 13 Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Psalm 119 verse 130 The unfolding of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Proverbs 18 verse 15 The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge, for the ears of the wise seek it out. Isaiah 30 verse 21 Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. Ephesians 5 verse 8 For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. Proverbs 19 verse 8 The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. Proverbs 4 verse 5 Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. 
Job 12 verse 13 To God belong wisdom and power, counsel and understanding are his. Proverbs 22 verses 17 to 18 Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips. Colossians 1 verse 9 For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Proverbs 14 verse 15 The simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. Colossians 3 verse 16 let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Proverbs 23 verse 23 Buy the truth and do not sell it wisdom, instruction, and insight as well. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Proverbs 21 verse 30 There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 18 Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. Proverbs 15 verse 33 Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. Proverbs 24 verses 3 to 4 By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 20 Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Proverbs 3 verses 19 to 20 By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 21 For since in the wisdom of God the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22 Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. Proverbs 2 verses 10 to 11 For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 23 But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. Proverbs 24 verse 6 Surely you need guidance to wage war, and victory is won through many advisors. 
1 Corinthians 1 verse 24. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Proverbs 15 verse 14. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 25. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Proverbs 29 verse 11. Fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 26 to 27. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Proverbs 12 verse 15. The way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God that is, our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Proverbs 29 verse 8. Mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 6 to 7. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. Proverbs 29 verse 9 If a wise person goes to court with a fool, the fool rages and scoffs, and there is no peace. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 14 to 15 The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgments about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. Proverbs 13 verse 1 A wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a mocker does not respond to rebukes. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Proverbs 14 verse 16 The wise fear the Lord and shun evil, but a fool is hot-headed and yet feels secure. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12 we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. Proverbs 14 verse 33 Wisdom reposes in the heart of the discerning and even among fools she lets herself be known. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 8 to 9. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, 
for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Proverbs 15 verse 2 The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. Galatians 1 verse 10 Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Proverbs 16 verse 16 How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver? Galatians 3 verse 1 you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Before your very eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. Proverbs 17 verse 24 A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. Galatians 3 verse 3 Are you so foolish? After beginning by means of the Spirit, are you now trying to finish by means of the flesh? Galatians 5 verse 7 You are running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? Galatians 6 verse 3 if anyone thinks they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Proverbs 19 verse 11 A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Galatians 6 verse 4 Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else. Ephesians 1 verse 7 In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Ephesians 1 verse 17 I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you may know him better. Ephesians 3 verses 10 to 11. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 24 verse 14 Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Ephesians 3 verse 16 I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being. Proverbs 28 verse 26 Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Ephesians 4 verse 13 Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Philippians 1 verse 9 And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 Wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter, but the advantage of knowledge is this, wisdom preserves those who have it. Philippians 1 verse 10 
so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 5 Whoever obeys his command will come to no harm, and the wise heart will know the proper time and procedure. Philippians 2 verse 2 Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10 If the axe is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. Philippians 3 verse 8 What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ. Isaiah 11 verse 2 The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord. Philippians 3 verse 15 all of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Isaiah 28 verse 29 All this also comes from the Lord Almighty, whose plan is wonderful, whose wisdom is magnificent. Philippians 4 verse 7 And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 40 verse 28 Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Colossians 1 verse 10 So that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Either are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Colossians 2 verses 2 to 3 My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Isaiah 58 verse 11 The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Colossians 2 verse 8 See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. <laughs>